We have some new details for you in a story that Target 12 investigators have been tracking for months. Some experts warn Rhode Island's new environmental regulations will make building homes take longer and cost more for at least the next year. Others say these regulations are overdue to preserve the state's environment for future generations. Target 12 investigator Charlie Taylor is joining us now in studio with the details. In March, Target 12 reported some Rhode Islanders were waiting a year or longer for certain wetland permits to be approved. On July 1st, those regulations became more complicated, changing for the first time in nearly 30 years. A marsh in Burrowville teeming with wildlife with a smattering of houses surrounding it. Before July 1st, wetlands biologist Scott Rabidou says none of the homeowners near this marsh would have required a wetlands permit to build or alter their homes. But now, with the first rewriting of Rhode Island Department of Environmental Management freshwater wetland regulations since the mid-90s, things have changed. If he wants to take that porch and make an addition, as of July 1st, he's going to be within 100 feet of this marsh, so he's going to need to file for a freshwater wetland permit. In June, if he wanted to do that extension to the porch, he, he's not. He could do it without any problem. He can do it without any problem. Rabidou estimates that for the first year to year and a half, homeowners will encounter higher costs and longer wait times as building officials and other experts adjust to new DEM rules. Gentleman across the street here now needs to have a surveyor prepare plan. Now needs to have a, a wetland person prepare an application, and he now needs to pay the fee to DEM. Rabidou says that while old regulations were essentially one size fits all, a 50 foot buffer zone if your property had a swamp, marsh, pond, or bog, for example, the new regulations could range from a 25 foot to a 100 foot buffer zone, depending on which of the three zones in the state you fall into. This is the new freshwater wetland regulations that take effect as of uh, July 1st of 2022. So, uh, you know, a little bit thicker. Rabidou says many of his clients rushed to get their freshwater wetland permit applications into DEM before July 1st because they were concerned about the new regulations. And data shows it wasn't just Rabidou's clients. Target 12 obtained DEM's data for wetlands permit applications. It shows that in the first three weeks of June 2021, DEM received 36 applications. For that same time frame in June 2022, that number more than doubled. There's going to be a backlog right away. And, uh, you know, the new regulations are going to take time for everybody to become accustomed to them. But Rabidou says there's also reason for optimism. State lawmakers increased DEM's budget with these new regulations in mind, allowing the department to add three additional positions to its wetlands permitting program. And Save the Bay's Kate McPherson says these new regulations will do more to protect the state's wetlands and residents. Having a buffer is the most, is the absolute best way, most cost effective way to keep the water clean. We want healthy communities. We want impact. We want resilience in the face of climate change. McPherson says Save the Bay was part of a task force in 2015 that determined DEM's existing regulations were not good enough. So they pushed for regulations that reflect the most recent science. That shows that we really need quite large natural areas, buffer zones around our wetlands. What's your message to those Rhode Islanders who are concerned about the economic impact of these new regulations? Well, I see these wet wetland regulations as um, very important to protect consumers, to make sure that development is properly cited. I don't think it's going to be this, this big disaster of Gosh, it takes forever to get a wetland permit. The Rhode Island Builders Association CEO John Mark Antonio says the organization supports environmental protections, but plans to closely monitor the transition in the months ahead. You can read more of his statement on WPRI.com. With the Target 12 Investigators, I'm Tolly Taylor, 12 News.